you got a question on your mind, a few thoughts you want to unwind, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, you got a couple problems, he helps out, baby mama or daddy, a necessary drama, you can ask, you can ask, you can ask, just ask Ashley. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Wednesday, you guys. Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. I hope you all are having a beautiful, wonderful, productive, amazing Wednesday. Yes, it is gloomy outside. Yes, it is raining outside, but there is beauty in some of the rain and there is beauty in whatever you choose to believe in. So I hope that you guys are having a great Wednesday. Um, we are going to touch on a very God sensitive subject today. Um, I feel like everybody comes to me with their baby daddy and baby mama stuff, but that's okay because that's what I'm here for, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick with it, we're gonna roll with it. So, as you guys are coming in, please go ahead and shout yourselves out. Let me know that you're here, like the video, share, comment. I want to know your thoughts. My thoughts are not the only ones that matter here in the Ask Ashley world. Plus, on Send Digital Media, you know that this is a platform for multiple voices to be heard. So please make sure that you share, 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 comment, and like the video. We want to know your thoughts as well. Um, today's topic that we are touching on is which means more to children? Is it the money or is it the time? And I'm very interested to see what you all have to say. But before we get into the topic... Um, I want to make sure that I go ahead and say thank you to everyone that showed up to my first event um, with the Goal Get Her team, um, with Cece and Ashley. It was a successful event. The next Goal Get Her event will be in May of 2021, but the next Ask Ashley event will be soon. So I will make sure that uh, I am giving you guys all the details with that. So please, if you are not following me now, go ahead and follow Ask Ashley so that you can be on the note in that. Um, of course, as you guys are listening to today's email, please go ahead and call 513-873-7134 so you can go ahead and give me your input and your thoughts live on video if you'd like. Or of course, you can just go ahead and comment and let us know how you're feeling. Jerome, hello. Happy, happy Wednesday. Good afternoon to you. Nicole Taylor, hey, beautiful. How are you? I hope you're having a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. Um, okay, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this thing because that's what I see it. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so pace yourselves. A lot of us have gone through this or we know people that have. Good morning, Ash. Here's a situation that I'm sure a lot of your viewers have had to deal with or heard of, but here it goes. I'm a father of two boys whose mom gives me hell. She has me on child support, but is constantly asking me for money. And when I can't, not won't, but can't help with anything monetarily, she calls me a bad father to my boys, tells them that I do not love them and that I only get them on the weekends because I don't like them. Wow. Uh, she's a horrible woman. I work a lot and I can't drop what I'm doing every day to do what she wants me to do. But I love my boys and I do what I can to be there for them. My question is, what do you do or what should a man do when he is dealing with a difficult mom? I have already been to court, which is why I get them anyway, but I don't want them to ever feel like I do not love them. She only cares about the money and I am not the most wealthy man in the world, obviously, but I still need to provide for myself and she does not care about that. Can you do a show on this, please? Okay, so I don't feel like this is, um, well, I'm going to give you advice, obviously, but I feel like this is such a broad spectrum of a conversation to have, right? So that's why I wanted to talk about what is more important to children. Is it their money or is it the money that you're providing to the children or is it the time? Um, so please go ahead and give me your thoughts. I'm going to touch on a couple things just based off of my own experiences from when I was a child, but also the experiences that I witnessed with my own children. So I think that what is needed and wanted and desired from children change as children change. As they grow older, you know what I mean? And their needs are different. I think that all that changes. Now, as when they're younger, children don't really have a concept of money, 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 money. So your time is invaluable to them. 
spending time with them, movie time, quality time, video game time, uh, 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 just time having conversation and laughing and, you know, whether you're, whether you are spending money on them or not, you know what I mean? Um, having lunch dates with your kids, or I used to like go up to my kid's school and pop up with just some lunch them, you know, let us do that now. But I used to go up to their, my kid's school and just have lunch with them, just bring them lunch. They would have two different lunch bells and I would sit there and have lunch with my daughter. And then I'd wait for my son's lunch. And then I would go ahead and have lunch with him and some of his friends. And then I'd go ahead and go back to work or whatever it was that I had to do at that time. So I feel like people need to understand that it's never an either or. It is a what do they need at this time in their lives. Now, fast forward to I have 15 year olds and 14 year old children and they are okay with the time. It's not that they don't appreciate the, the time, but now they have so much focus on what it is in their own lives with their friends because they're teenagers, they're in high school, they're discovering themselves, who they are, what their purpose is, what they're meant to be, who they want to be. So my money <laughs> is a little bit more important now. They have more needs, uh, not even more needs, they have more wants, right? Uh, this video game, that video game, this shoe, that shoe, uh, uh, take me and my friends here. Can we go there? Can I go to the mall here? Can I go do this? So it's like, as they have grown and shifted, um, their focus as children to the things that children pay attention to. So has their need and want from me as a parent. So to answer the original question, um, for this particular incident, I think it's important to understand who your children are in this time and in this space in their lives. And that's going to go ahead and dictate dictate whether or not it's more time that they need or is it more of your financial support that it is that they need. I do think that it is very important that you provide both as often as you can. And I say as often as you can. If you cannot, I need a lot of women to stop making it seem like unless a man is handing you over a check, he is not a good father because that is not the case. That's really not the case. Now, I also need men to stop creating hella babies that they can't take care of. I do need that, okay? That is also a thing, but it takes two to create children. And I think that this goes back to a conversation that we've all had before when we touch on knowing who you are creating life with. Not just because they look good, not just because the Hoochie Coochie is great, but who are you creating life with? The type of person, what is their family history like? What are their values like? What are the important things to them? What are the things that they're gonna be teaching your children? Because the reality is some of us are non-custodial parents, not just fathers, but mothers too. Um, Jerome says back in the day it was time, today it's money because everything they want costs so much. And I think, again, I think it depends on where your child is in their life. A four-year-old does not give a crap about the money. Now, yes, they want to see that new toy or yes, they want to go ahead and you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 get the new, like, I don't know. Um, y'all give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a cartoon name. Back in the day for me, it was wow, wow, wubsy. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> As a four year old, they don't care about the money. They want to cuddle. They want to see you. They want to, they want to spend time. But as a 12, 13, 14, 15 year old, they don't really necessarily want to spend all that time. They want new shoes. They want new things. They want this. They want that. So it really just depends about where your kids are in their lives. Um, so something else was touched on in this, in this email. And this is another thing that really bothers me. I don't care. Now, let me be very clear because we all have heard the Ask Ashley story. Okay. So y'all know where me and my children's father are, right? Um, now, I will say that I pray that one day we get a little bit better, which I know is a little bit of a turn twister for me. But I do pray that things get better um, one day. But, you know, I leave that up to God. But those who have heard these stories of me and have these conversations know a lot about what I've went through as a single mom. I do think that it is very important for women not to continuously badmouth not even women, for parents to continuously badmouth the other parent, right? Now, you say this and you say, well, ask Ashley, you just talk shit about your baby daddy a couple times, blah, 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 blah. This is true, okay? This is true. 
keep in mind, Ask Ashley was not created until my children were a little old enough to understand the type of father that they had. Right. And so you have to understand that it is not your job to bad mouth the other parent. It is not your job to fill your child's head with all of these negative thoughts about how you feel about their, their dad or their mom or how this person is a mess or how this person is a mess or, you know what I mean, the drama that they bring. Because because the reality is your children will see that the older that they get, right? Even if you have a child who is um, constantly being told by one parent that the other parent is not good enough, eventually it will start to click that this parent is wrong. So you just kind of have to wait that out, unfortunately, because it's almost like there's nothing you can do. Let's say, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead for instance. Let's say we've got a mother who works a lot, a father who doesn't work as much. So the father has more time to provide while the mom has more money to give, okay? This is why co-parenting relationships are supposed to be so healthy and work better. Because if one has the other, if one has one thing, one need or one thing that they can provide and the other has, has something else that the other one can't provide, you're all supposed to work collectively together. When you have two parties that don't wanna work together, you just continue to create chaos and you're creating chaos for your child, not chaos for that other person. Yes, it hurts them. Yes, it bothers them, but you're creating chaos within your child and you don't even realize it. So when you're sitting up here and you're saying things like your dad doesn't love you, your dad doesn't care about you, your mom doesn't spend time with you, your mom could care less about your game, you are creating and hurting your child just as much as the person that cannot provide or cannot give them what it is that they want. Um, I'm going to read a couple comments. Tracy says, girl, you better say that. Be careful who you lay with and have kids with. Amen, ma'am. Miss Tracy. Miss um, Mobley says, unfortunately, some parents make their kid put too much importance on money instead of love. This is very true. Uh, Miss Taylor says, time is the most important thing. I think the father should have a meeting with the mother and children and have a family discussion on their family dynamic. Listen to their kids and respect their feelings. Both parents must declare their commitments to their kids, starting by being better communicators with each other. Miss Taylor, baby, if I could, <laughs> if I had something for you, baby, I'd give it to you right now because that's the one. I, 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 I definitely cannot stand when children have to be the communicators for parents because they're children. They're children. So at one point or another, parents have to learn how to be better communicators. Whether you like this person or not, the reality is you slept with them. Now, this is the same person again, because y'all know I'm very transparent on the show. This is the same person who has not had a conversation with her children's father in years, right? But that is because the toxic relationship that we had, it was better for us not to communicate. It was better for us not to communicate because every time we communicated, it was hard for our children. So when they have time with their dad, they go over there and they have a conversation with their dad. When they come home and they want to share what that conversation may have been like, which they always don't. But if they ever want to share that, then one thing I can say is I don't think that their dad disrespects me over there. And I don't I don't disrespect him to our children. But our children are old enough to see who does what and which is which. You know what I mean? At some point, though, when your children are small, you have to desire to want to be co-parents to be great co-parents, to be better co-parents. Because all of the extra things that is going on between what you won't do and what you won't do and how come you won't do this and all of these things, all of this pointing fingers does not really do anything for anybody. I have been in therapy for so long now that I think it's unusual for people to not do it. Like these kids are going through so much turmoil, trying to discover who it is that they are, trying to deal with the peer pressures of school, trying to deal with the peer pressures of being themselves and also having to worry about whether mom and dad are going to be fighting. Is dad going to see me? Is mom going to see me? Is mom going to be mad that I sided with dad? Is dad going to be mad that I sided with mom? And again, you are creating so much turmoil within your children. 
And it's hard because we have all been through some things. But again, this is why I scream therapy the way that I do. Because if you start to fix yourself, then you can learn how to be a better communicator. And you can see through some of the pain and the hurt and the ugliness that somebody is attacking you with because you know it has nothing to do with you. But that is not until you get to a better place of fixing yourself, right? Okay, continuing on with the comments. Tracy says, girl, that's the honest to God's truth on what you're speaking about. Ms. Taylor says, preach, sis. Uh, Tracy says, little lady, I, I so appreciate the truth you speak to the young people and us old fools out here in these streets. And and let me say this, like all of this is because I have been through this. I have been through this. I have been the baby mama that was angry. I have. Not angry because my children's father moved on. Hell, we both did that. I was angry because I felt like he wasn't doing what I wanted him to do when it came to our kids. It was that be I was angry because it was like what I missed out on as a child, I felt like my children should not be missing out on. And I felt like history was repeating itself. So one of the other things that I think is really important for co-parents to realize is that you can't control the other parent. You have no control over them. You have no control over what they say, what they do, how they treat your child, or any of those things. Now, let me say this. If you feel like your child is being mistreated, then you know that there are some rules to take and some steps that you need to take to go ahead and deal with that. But we're not talking about that. We're just talking about pure disconnect and dysfunction within families and co-parenting family dynamics and situations because two adults cannot be grown enough to work together. People are attacking each other. They are name calling. They are being disrespectful. And then they are turning around with their hands out. How? How? Again, I, I, <laughs> I've said it once. I'll say it again. Mothers have got to, not even mothers. I'm sorry. Let me, let me correct that. Parents have got to stop bad mouthing the other parent, the non custodial parent, the other parent that is not around or not present on a day to day basis, all because of their own personal feelings. Again, though, a lot of fathers. OK, right. And, and, and when I say that, I mean, like the financial support, because this is what this this gentleman is talking about. But again, a lot of fathers also have to get to a point where you stop creating children that you can't take care of. Use protection or stop sleeping with so many women you know what i mean like get you one woman that you know is going to be the partner and, and 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 go ahead and recreate procreate over there but stop feeling like you gotta slang it to airy airy shorty that's got a cute face with a big booty that you see because then you start to deal with these situations where we got baby mamas and baby daddies and this is, again, all because of things that I have been through on my own and I had to learn. I am not always right. I was not always right with every decision. You know what I mean? But I love my children and I wanted my children to have more. And so when they weren't getting more, I was angry about that. But that was not always on my children's father. Some of that was on me and what I went through as a child. Again, which is why I pressed the therapy button. If you start to fix yourself from the things that you needed to heal from when you were younger, these things will not manifest into when you are an adult and you are now the parent trying to deal with certain situations. You love your child tremendously, but you're still dealing with things that were done to you when you were younger. Fix it. Fix it so you can stop blaming other people for the things that happened to you a long time ago that has nothing to do with that person or your kid. I'll continue reading on. Michaela says, we're calling people adults slash parents because of age, not mindset. Your mindset will raise your child. We are the example, baby. Have y'all got her book hurt? Go ahead and get that book. Go ahead and get that book. Head over to quotingconfidence.com. Go ahead and get that book. Because that one right there will go deeper with you. Uh, Miss Taylor says, I have good relationship with my kids, dad. There is a mutual respect. I don't ever speak bad about him to them. They have no clue of the physical and mental abuse he put me through. And I don't know if I ever will tell them. Our text, our toxic relationship has nothing to do with their relationship with their dad. And it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, if at one point or another, they're adults and they want to say, mom, whatever happened with you, dad, you want to have that conversation, you go ahead and do that. But as long as he is being a good father, that has nothing to do with you. And what he did to you. It hurts like hell, but it still does not change the fact that he's a great dad. So I'm glad to know that you guys are working together. Michaela says, and it's sad when the child is more mature when the, with, than the adults, which happens often. Very, very often. And it's a lot of weight that we put on children. I'll say it again. It is a lot 
of weight that we put on children that should not be put on children. What's the saying, what they say? I didn't ask to be here. They didn't ask to be here. That is the truth. So you do not give them responsibility of making sure that you two can figure it out because they didn't ask to be here. You asked for the Poonani and you asked for the, for the Sloan. You feel me? You asked for the, for the back shot. So those two, those two reasons leave that as your responsibility, not on your child. One more thing that he touched on in this email, and then I'm going to let y'all go. Um, let me see. What did he say? Says, I work a lot and I can't drop what I'm doing every day to do what it is that she wants me to do. But I love my boys and I do what I can for them. So here's another thing that I think is important to point out. Um, and fathers... And I say fathers because this is who I see it from the most, right? Um, I have seen a handful maybe of moms that would say this, but fathers say this quite often, is I work a lot. And I get that. You have to work. You have to provide. You have to make your money. But please stop thinking that mothers don't work a lot too. Because we do. Because as soon as we get off from work, we are clocking back into work. That second job is parent, parenting, parenthood, whatever. You know what I mean? And some moms have two jobs. So the third job is parenting and parenthood. You have to stop getting, you have to get out of the habit of thinking that one carries more weight than the other. I understand as a mother, you work a lot, but please understand as a father that I work a lot too. And that means sometimes you have to carry a load because that's what co-parenting is about. You cannot continue to use the excuse that you work a lot as if to say that I don't. And a lot of dads do that. Again, I use dads as the example because that's what I see the most of. I hear that the most when I'm having conversations with people. You know what I mean? But again, it does not negate the fact that everybody is working a lot. Everybody has a lot going on. We are in a serious transition within the world as a whole. People are transitioning in their lives. Some people are still broken and trying to figure it out or not trying to figure it out, just want to stay broken. And you got some people who are broken who are trying to figure it out. You got some people who are healed who refuse to deal with certain things. You know what I'm saying? So you have to, you have to, have to, have to get to a point where you are open to communicating and you are open to making sure that it is the best situation possible for your child. Your communication cannot look like a constant set of attacks personal attacks. That is not what is good for your child. And unless your child is being abused when they are away from their other parent or when they are with their other parent, unless that is something that is happening, then withholding your other parent and keeping, I'm sorry, then withholding your child from another parent or keeping your child from another parent is a form of psychological abuse. Debate with your mamas. It is a form of psychological abuse when you remove or you withhold your child from a parent all because you're upset. It is. And I say again, debate with your mamas. Don't debate with me on that. Debate with your mamas, not me. Okay? Um, KR says, preach lady. I'm just saying. And again, I've made some of these mistakes. Woman enough to admit that. Good friend of mine has me praying regularly. And I do pray for my children's father now. Y'all know two, three years ago, Sister Soldier was not praying over here for that one. Okay? Um, yes, ma'am. So, in, return, in regards to the original question, which is time or money more effective, both matter. That's the reality of it. Both matter. So, you as a parent, whether together or not together, whether custodial or non-custodial, it is your job to make sure you provide both. If it means that you have to take off from work one day so that you can make sure you're the one that picks your child up from school, do that. If it means that you got to work overtime to make sure that your child has something that is needed, do that. Do it. Don't continue to make excuses for it. Do it. Custodial or non-custodial. Baby mama or baby daddy. I don't care. Figure it out and do it. And to answer his other question, 
what should a man do when you're dealing with a difficult mother? Originally, I would have said, don't get this person pregnant because she's a difficult person, but you already are, she's already the mother. So what do you do? You make sure that you are active. You make sure that you are involved. You make sure that you can debunk every negative, nasty thing that she says or puts into your child's head. You debunk it. She says that you're not present, be present. She says that you're not active, be active. And not because she said it, not for her, but for your child. So that when she, when your child hears these things, my mom said my dad is not active. Well, that don't make no sense because my dad, my dad was at my, my game. He was at my school play. He was at this. He was at that. So I don't even understand what she's talking about because that don't even make no sense. That's what you do. You debunk her at every turn or him because you got some mamas out here that's off the chain. A couple of them. So that is going ahead and being me a day juice today, ladies and gentlemen, because I need to take a nap. I'm not even going to hold you. My stomach hurt and I ain't been feeling good today, but I'm still on my high from Sunday, honestly. So there's that. Also, I did want to go ahead and put out here to the people, though, that I have a new email address. It is info at ask-ashley.com. If you a want to book for Monday Night Juice, because season six will be going ahead and start, um, we'll start filming for that soon. Or if you want to go ahead and have your event or something, um, new product or service that you're providing on Fox 19 for my Ask Ashley segment, you can go ahead and email me there. Or you can go ahead and email me at info ask, at ask-ashley.com for your Moya Day Juice uh, therapy session, if you want to call it that. All right. I love you guys so much. I will see you soon. I will talk to you again, as always, at 1 p.m. on Wednesdays for Midday Juice. I love you, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.